Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 40, and this is war number 5. And we're going up against an alliance called Zealots del Enjambre. Alright, and they look tough. This is uh, looking like it's going to be a very uh, tough match. Uh, let's see who they... Of course, they banned Gallon. Kingpin, these are good bands. They know what they're doing. Oh, man. I'm really hating the band system. But anyway, uh, let's continue on. Look at what they got for us here. Okay, so... No one on that first one. Silver Surfer. We got Venom as the first mini. We got infamous Iron Man for that one. This time I do not have Gallon, so that's going to be interesting to talk about. And then here we've got um, Nimrod. So he will have the armor up. But Claire can take him there, no problem. And then we've got Thing. Haven't seen Thing in a little while. Hmm. We're going to have to uh, discuss who's taking what minis so we know who we're going to be bringing in. But uh, Namor, since they banned Gallon. Um, I'm thinking Claire and then someone to handle one of the three minis. Hmm. Let's see, thing. Hmm. Yeah, well, I'll have to see. I, I do have counters. Same thing with this uh, infamous Iron Man. Uh, so what we usually will do is we'll discuss it and see who has uh, the better counters for who. And that's who I'll bring in for the third one. So Namor for sure, Claire for sure, and then one to try to take one of these minis. And of course, as always, if I'm needed for Boss Island, if one of the guys that I can... Uh, that I'm going to bring. It's good for Boss Island, then great. But like Infamous uh, Iron Man, this node in particular, uh, Titania, Spider-Man 2099, those would be some uh, good counters, I think. So we'll see. I might end up taking him again. Uh, with Titania. So we'll see. All right. Let's get on with the fighting. All right. So let me tell you guys. This war was my worst war so far this season. I hope I don't have a worse war than this one. So as you saw, I went in with my alternate team, I guess you could say, uh, Namor, when they ban Gallon and try to put someone on this path that, you know, has armor up or anything like that. Uh, Gallon is great for that path as a uh, backup alternate. And uh, as I mentioned in the previous uh, war video, I may have to take him to rank four. Um... It looks like they're going to keep banning Gallon. And so I need to be ready with a, a nice backup. And having him at rank four means faster fights. And that can help us, you know, if we have a tie and it comes down to time, you know. And that has happened already. So there we go. I was trying to get him to um, get his uh, armor ups so that I could start getting power burn, power drain, and reflecting that damage back to him. That's actually what I wanted to do. All right. But then I thought, you know what? Let me wait out a little bit. 
and then back up and you know once i bait this out watch what i do boom i held block so that i could get that bar of power get to the special three and rock them with it uh even though this does take up time i figure it would be much easier uh, and I'll make up for the time lost with that Fury. See that Fury that I got right there? Look at his health. Health going down. And this is just a rank three. So, boom, boom, boom. Just just hurting him. Mm. Look at this. And he's down. And my health is looking pretty good. You know? Um, I, I definitely will have to take him up uh, in the future. Unless... I find an even better counter for this path uh, as a backup to Gallon. All right, so the first mini I didn't touch. Um, we talked about it, and one of my alliance mates uh, took this one. Uh, you can see he had a little difficulty, but let me tell you, he didn't have as much difficulty as I had. Uh, but anyway, so here's the thing, and I said this in my last video. The ramp up in difficulty in smarts i guess you would say on defense uh is noticeable so i have fought infamous iron man on this node before i fought him with gallon well they banned gallon and they placed him here now i've never fought him without gallon and so i was unprepared for certain things in this fight all right but you know, I'm, I'm boosting up and I'm even going to use an invulnerability boost. OK, just in case, because I know I have problems evading that unblockable special one. And I'm planning on bringing in Titania because I won't have to worry about the buffet uh, because she doesn't have buffs. All right. So here we go. Look at that. Love that. Start off with the unblockable. Look at this, just going in. But you notice he has a lot of glancing. That's annoying. That's very annoying to me. All right, and here we go. Hey, I evaded the special one. Uh, in the last video, I did mention something about that I needed to practice, right? So, look at this. He's just spamming him. So that time he caught me. I'm like, come on. Am I going to have to evade every single one? I mean, it was like... I hit him, I do a five hit combo, he fires a special one. Five hit combo, fires a special one. I'm like, come on. You know, every time he got the special one, he was gonna fire it off. Give me a break. But anyway, so uh, you see I pushed him to a special two and that one I could just block, but you saw it still did some good amount of damage to me. That block damage is, is no joke. All right, and here we go. Hey, evaded it. So I'm, I'm getting into the rhythm here. We're doing well. Haymaker is ready. Cool, cool. And then what was that? I don't know what that was just now. And that threw me off. I was like, what just happened? How did I just get hit? What what, what did he do? Okay. And all of a sudden now, I can't evade it no more. I am, I'm completely off right now. Because I was like, what did he do? I saw the, the shock. Did he hit me? And then that one, I couldn't even evade at all. So from being able to evade to suddenly not being able to evade. But here's something else that happened. Do you notice that it's frozen right here? I didn't stop it. It stopped recording. So I'm going to have to tell you what happened. First of all, we didn't have any um, bonus on this fight because I did something that I will not do again. I thought I was the only one um, that was going to be able to take this fight. And so I powered through. So the second fight, I put another invulnerability boost on. And this time I went in with Claire, thinking I can just not evade back to get the um, precision buff. And I'll be able to strip him of his armor and just kind of get him that way. It didn't work out. I don't know why but it didn't work and he was unblockable surprisingly on a special two and caught me i don't know how why whatever 
So I went down with Claire. Then I fought him uh, again with Titania. And I figured, okay, well, I did well on this first one. And so the second, I should be able to get down and we'll get at least an uh, attack bonus. No. It, it, like I said, he suddenly was unblockable on the special twos and, and I'm, and I wasn't familiar with it enough to know why suddenly. And so I couldn't switch out in time. And that special two, if you notice, is multi-hit. So even though I had the, um, uh, invulnerability boost on, didn't matter. So he took me down. Then I went back in. Now with no attack bonus and just basically, um, I think it took me twice more to finally get him down. This will not happen again. I will tell you that. But man, that was rough. I just basically did not have a good counter. The next time, if I have to fight him, I'm bringing in Hulkling. Hulkling is a better counter for this uh, particular fight here. Okay, he's shock immune for one thing. Um, so... That's what I will do if I have to fight him again. Uh, and then uh, my path, uh, I didn't die again. And uh, I was able to clear um, my path without uh, any problems in uh, section two. All right. So uh, that's it for my participation. We'll be back in a second and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back, and unfortunately, we lost this war. I mentioned at the beginning that these guys were tough, and they were. I would feel even worse because I died and lost us all the attack bonus, um, but it wasn't really close, okay? Uh, and we were told, don't worry about it. These guys are actually, you know, um, really good, really, really tough. Uh, so losing to them you know, shouldn't make us feel really, really bad. Now, I would have felt bad if it had been closer. You know, if we had um, lost by a couple of, uh, you know, attack bonuses or three attack bonuses, something like that, I would have felt even worse than I already do. I hate losing. So dying in the first place is going to make me feel bad. But I would have felt even worse. Uh, but anyway, that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button. Um, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. Uh, do you know of better counters for infamous Iron Man on that node? If gallon is banned, let me know. Uh, take care and you all have a blessed day.